Mechanical engineering is basically everywhere within society. It's not just designing cars, it's applied mathematics and science, anything to do with machinery, things that are designed and things that have got moving parts need to be designed by a mechanical engineer. I was attracted to the course at Salford University because there were so many facilities that were on show that I felt that I'd be able to use when I came here. Especially in the Newton building where most of the engineering teaching takes place. There are wind tunnels, there's a full machine shop and the Mawson Maker space is there for all students to use for 3D printing, laser scanning and anything that an engineer could want. The favourite part of the course so far would probably be the first year design challenge where we designed pipe climbing robot climbed up the inside of the pipe, has to return down after hitting a, a datum point at the top. We were entered into the regional finals and came first and ended up coming second in the country. I don't think I'd have had that opportunity if I'd gone to other places. There are so many of the tutors who are being industry recognised. They've come out of the workplace and they're now teaching and it's their passion to teach us their knowledge. So a hobby that I've pursued at the University of Salford would be Salford Racing. We design and build a race car from the ground up every year and we race it at Silverstone against 130 international universities. We're judged on our design principles, our manufacturing principles and the business logic behind the whole project. A typical day would be that we would be in a computer room designing parts we conceptualise what we're going to design um, and then we put it into manufacture using all the facilities at the university. If I could say something to someone who's considering studying at Salford, I'd say that it would be a great idea. The course has actually shown me how to apply my knowledge in a way that's recognised and the correct procedure to follow for designing parts, not just how to take something apart and put it back together again. It's how it's actually designed and made and manufactured.